exploit this, guys. Well, what are we here if not to have fun? I say some mixed conditions from monsoon to light rain to dry back to light rain would be very entertaining. What do you think? Well, it's Brazil, so it's a track where if there's any track where you can count on some rain, Brazil is that track. Absolutely. So here um, we are, FRL Division 2, Season 2, Race 14, last race of the season. We are here in Interlagos. I am Sukuri. I have Chaos here with me today. Hey, Hi, Chaos. Hey, Sukuri. So uh, the, tire the tire strategy here looks very interesting because um, the maximum amount of... Um, can you invite me? Please. Yes, I can invite you, PLL. Uh, the... The softs go for a maximum of 16 laps, and the me and the mediums for 20 laps, and this is a 36 lap race. Thoughts? Yeah, and we're we're almost certainly going to be looking at a one stop because of that. And usually the stops are going to be looking at sort of the transition point around lap 14 or 16 for most of the strategies. But you can always count on some people trying to run the reverse strategy. I get very nervous pushing soft tires to their absolute minimum on one on some of these tracks. So this is one of the tracks in which the lateral load in your rear axle is very high. Um, and, so you know, corners slow, that man. come to mind is Ferradura is one of those. Um, you have to just keep the car in there. Um, actually, that is the main one that you <laughs> that the, the softs might just give out on you um, if you push them too hard. And to say nothing of all of the very, very slow corners in Sector 2 here, uh, it's one of the most interesting and unique courses. There's nothing quite like it in all of the F1 calendar. It's one of the reasons we love Interlagos so much, is we've just got these real low-speed, undulating corners going up and down, up and down on the side of the hill before the big, long climb up to the start-finish straight. And, uh, well, Prestige is out of the garage. He's the first one now, so we have to watch him. And uh, our provisional Division One champion, Mega Man, on the stream. Shout out to Mega Man. Hello, man. How are you doing? And uh, Joe Fish says, wet, wet, wet. All right, let's get some rain in here, maybe. These guys have not... They, some of them do text me what the weather is going to be like. There is no way for us to know here. Well, none yet, but uh, we'll, we'll be seeing it. Looks like a nice hazy day for qualifying, but that has no Absolutely. bearing whatsoever on the race. Can't join as a player, huh? All right, so let's get, let's get on board with Prestige. Where does he break? Around the 50. Guess the car rotated very nice. That's the nice thing about that Ferrari. The front end is very pointy. Goes early in the power, looks completely under control right here. Where does he break? 100 meter board, maybe? Oh, late! Late, like late, around 60, 60 meters. meters. And that's going to let you do some overtakes, but it's going to compromise you a lot through the exit of the city of Delago. How's that? All right, so a little choppy there, Ferradura. That cost a little bit of time. Front end does not want to bite. There you go, he gets the car rotated. The rotation here is uh, is key everywhere. Uh, and it seems like he's got it. Or does he break about 75 meters, get the car turned in, goes early on the power, doesn't even need to short shift, to take it, took it in fourth. All right, so this looks like a pretty decent lap. Oh, do we have our first retirement? So that's what, 107.8 on the board right now. Can we see what happened here to this Red Bull? Yes, that is uh, wheel off for Ian Brax. Wow. So is that, uh, that's Mr. Dub. 
Huh, yeah, I was having Alpha issues Romeo. where he's not able to join as a player for some reason. That's very strange. Our settings are yes. normal. Yes, our settings is normal, so he should be able to cycle to his car and say take over. He just needs to go and flip through all the AI that's available. If you're listening to this PLL, just flip through, find where you have the green steering wheel thing and uh, that should work for you. All right, so Dubman doing a pretty good lap here. How suits you then, P3 on mediums? Wow, that is good. Okay, let's see. This guy's all this guy's all going very gingerly in that last corner into that uh, back straight. So he puts the car in P9. So so far we have Prestige P1 with us 178. Chris. P2, 179, and El Sucio 10, more importantly, in the medium tires, 108, 0. Oh, he does very well to stay out of Roro's way there uh, on his outlap. It is very hard to get out of the way here, don't you think? Yeah, it certainly is. This is just one of the one of the shortest tracks in the whole calendar. Brazil's unique for a lot of different reasons, and uh, this track is very interesting because it's it's one of those throwbacks. It's something that the sport really doesn't have or make anymore, but it's still a track where you can get some really really interesting, entertaining racing going on, even in modern F1 cars. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. It's a classic, you know. Wow, JD's lap. He goes super wide into the green. To turn into the the S's carries lots of curb. I mean, that car is in the curb throughout the entire exit. Where does he break here? All of these guys breaking really late, really, really late. I mean, this is 60, 50 meters into that corner. Throws a car in, it bites. And Lifts off, him. picks up the throttle mid corner. This is going to be a very good lap here for nice JD. And then pressure. Keeps it. Oh, he had to. He had to lay off on the power there a little bit. That rear end was a little ginger on the power. Is he going to be able to get a bit of a draft from the Williams ahead? He might. Oh, he goes very wide into there to get to minimize the angle of the corner. He's trying to get the. Uh, yeah, Roro decides to not give him the toe. I mean, not that he needs the toe. Uh, good news, it looks like PLL is going to be up to make it in for qualifying. Yeah, wow. That is a 1068. He's just. With authority. That's a second. JDR, That's one full second. Let us not forget, this is the man who uh, was in a neck and neck competition with El Susi then until he had to yes. withdraw from several late races in the season. So. If I were JD, I just want to come in. I want to stamp my authority on this race. I want to say, just, hey, you know, just yeah. so you know, I could have done it. I could have, I could have taken it to the line here. And you know, sometimes the scheduling just doesn't work out. And that's life sometimes. But he's really yeah. got something to something to show here to say, hey, you know, look out next year. Balzac on the mediums, one oh seven nine. That's a decent lap on the mediums. Now here's a question for you, Chaos. If you were these guys. Uh, on the medium tires, in P4, P5. I mean, I think El Sucio then is thinking about going the soft C. He's already out. On. And uh, would you go another lap on the on the? Would you change back to the softs? I mean, I feel like P4 in the mediums is pretty decent, no? Yes, certainly. And you, if you see the Williams guys here too, so P, so Roro P6 on the softs. And Red Baron, just two tenths behind him on the mediums. So, again, this is one of these races in which, without counting the qualifying laps that you put on your soft tires, the soft to medium is perfect bang on what the game recommends for tire life. The, the I would like to draw attention anyway. to, uh, to PLL, who's just setting his first lap after being able to make it. And he's making up for lost time oh. since he had to come in quite late. Yeah, let's let's go on board. We know he's fast. 
Okay, so he's taking. He's took. Ta uh, is this an owl lap? You know oh, what? purple sector a, one. Yeah, uh, he's definitely. Um, that didn't this seem is right. Not his that, he might have backed seem off of right. this lap. Yeah, I think he's backed off of this lap. Yeah, but that he's, was. He's not evaluated. No, but he had a really compromised exit through the Senna S's. Okay, he put a purple sector one though. Yeah, that was very striking. Like. It looked compromised, but he carried a lot of speed. El Susio Dan is about to start his hot lap. On the softs? Yes, his hot All right, lap let's on go. the softs. Coming in, what's he going to hit? 328, 330, 331, 32. Can I get a 333? Yeah. Top speed of 333 <laughs> kilometers an hour as he comes into the first breaking zone. Oh, that was a hook. Did you see that? That was so close to an invalidation, but that's what you gotta do. Ooh, Chip was fell off on the side. Amazing rocky hook. Breaking it Carried 50, so but much gets... speed through that apex. Oh, that's a nice line. That is a fast line. He's coming through a couple, a little bit of traffic, so we'll see. It is very hard not to get distracted with traffic. Taps the apex, beautiful. Gets my right, gap flag. Gets, keeps out of the way. Bit of a moment on acceleration. Coming through Pico de Pada. And now to Chun Sao. Break here. He might get a drift off of uh, Doveman here. Draft he might say. get toe, yes. If he stays, if he gets close enough to him. Here we go. Nice and tight. He's lost some time in sector and? two. Yet yeah, he's not quite on JDR. JDR was the only person to get sub 107. Also, see I think he got a little quarter second off. I think he got a little spook in sector two when there was people coming behind him. Oh, El Sucio! It's a bad place to park your car when there's people coming behind you, man. Pat Lassar <laughs> probably sucks. was not super pleased with that. No, Pat was probably not super pleased with that indeed. Oh. But it is in his no lap. So at least that. Oh, Dubman having in a moment. Spot. Well, it wasn't a moment actually. He was getting out of the way, but he was stuck on the inside, getting out of the way, ah. and then he just gradually drifted right until he was right at the corner, which is just a very uncomfortable place to find yourself in. All right, chaos. If you can keep an eye on the uh, Twitch chat, let me know That's because where um, eyes are. I think. I think me being on the Twitch chat and streaming at the same time is not doing any yeah, yeah, favors you, for my you internet connection. You tap out the game to do it. Yeah, don't worry. Uh, I've got you covered. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go on board with Pet Lassard here. Oh, that rear end that 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 wanted to over rotate on him on the power right away. And They're all breaking really late, really, really late. Um, certainly, so late, maybe that's I'm just almost wondering if it's, if it's costing them a little bit, because it does really compromise your exit if you have to keep on, you know, trailing the brake a little bit into that corner, because you can't get the power down super early. Super uh, early, yeah. Five. You know, and that, that straight following it is not super, it's not super short. It's not long, but it's not short, so you, do, you are paying some time. And you do also right. carry a decent amount of speed through Faradura. Oh, oh, that's a moment. Oh, that's a big moment. Oh, that's a wheel. Oh, oh my goodness. A wheel off. That is a wheel off. That is. I mean, yeah, his is rear kind of did not look comfortable coming, going into turn one even. You saw that that car did not want to. He really wanted to overrode. Oh, was that a, someone? Did someone collide against him? No, he's no, right in no. the path of fire too. Yeah. Oh goodness. Yeah, he's in a very awkward position there. No, that was Luke Brax coming through. I think. All right, Luke Brax going up for a hot lap. All right. And it's great oh. to see both of the Brax brothers back here. Uh, they've always had issues with the uh, with connection and haven't been able to make it to all the races. But when they do, they're always mixing it up. And uh, Diego, no weather updates yet, so we're going in blind. Okay. You're going in blind, all right. <laughs> and, uh, he took a lot of curbs. 
into the Cida do Lago. And uh, more curb than I've seen. And I bet that that's... Uh, uh, no one is invalidating laps. I don't know if you noticed that. Uh, I've seen a handful. Uh, but, Have you? Uh, but okay. not that many. O only like three or four, I think. Which on a track like Brazil is tricky because you have to push these lines so tight. There's some courses where yeah. it's pretty easy to set a good time without really cutting it thin. But here, uh, you can't do that. If you if you want to be setting fast line, you have to be right on the edge. Here we come. And Luke Brax moves up into P8 from P12 P8. with a 108.015. So, In fact, he's only uh, 20 thousandths off of brick lot. And for that wow. matter, he's only 40 thousandths off of Baltic. My goodness. I was talking to some of these guys in the practice lobby beforehand, and they said, it's going to be a close race. Have a look at the times here. 107.95 is in fifth place. 108.04 is in ninth place. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. And of course, the gaps are going to be smaller. This is a short course. Right. But still. But this is even very personal. small. This is yeah, very, very that's small. impressive. Yes. And the so whole going to be is within a, a two-second gap here. So we're setting up for um, for a Ferrari train, basically, behind Prestige, if you go by... Oh, he's going for another lap. Well, you, well, he's you, getting you say rotating train, he's not really be early away. on. He, he, he gets the car rotated very nice into that first chicane. Okay, so the front really did not want to collaborate there, so he a little bit of oversteer. He's lost a little bit of time, not too much. Oh god, that makes me so nervous! Oh no. Oh dear, what's happened with Dubman? I'm on board with oh, Chase. Oh, so. that is... Um, I, I was just saying, that makes me so nervous. Uh, so he was coming through Ferradura full speed. I don't know what happened to the Alfa Romeo, but he spun right in front of Prestige and Prestige just went right on him. Sukuri, so, drive your attention wing. to Jail Patel. Pardon my interruption. He just went up seven yeah. positions, put himself from 12th oh to 5th with a really strong lap. So uh, that was the most Ferrari thing that could happen to a Ferrari driver. It's crashing into uh, Alfa Romeo. <laughs> That's just bad luck. And I bet uh, I bet the up man was trying to get out, get out of the way. Spun in in the process. This guy comes behind him and just whacks him. It's just crazy that I was on board for that. All right, JD, one more try. Not that he needs it, but let's see if he can improve. And Balzac as well. Pretty wow, fierce. I don't know how he gets the car turned in like that. Did you see that? Well, it's I'm, like almost mechanical. Like right now. Three gears down and very good control over the car. It's a very good line through this particular part of the track. He opens wide, gets the car rotated, patient on the throttle. Goes to 75 and then careful after that. He tends to take a lot of the green stuff on here to open the... Yeah, it's amazing that it doesn't unsettle the car. Oh. Brick is out. Brick is out. Lost control. Yeah, yeah, just into the access. 106.6 improves, not that he needed it. So he's shaved another two tenths, really making a... A statement here with El Susio Dan, 1069. And Balzac also with an improvement to 107518. P4 for Balzac. It's, a, it's a very strong return. Luke Brax on a hot lap. Are these guys choppy to you? No, the they're not looking movement? too choppy to me. Okay. Ooh, look almost losing the rear end of the car there on the power. Yeah, he's able to go 80% out of that corner and then slowly go, slowly uh, put the power up. 
very wide on ledger, but he still hasn't disallowed, so let's see where he's going to set this lap. Ooh, Brax over the line. B6. B6. Right behind Krith, cutting just ahead of Prestige by not even three hundredths of a second. This is going to be a uh, very, very close race, I Interesting think. Interesting thing. I'd like to point out the Williams duo, 11th and 12th, are going to have free choice of tires. Yep. That, here, that is going to be a factor. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. They have the possibility of running the reverse strategy, which can be very, very strong, especially if you think you've got some pace on people who qualified ahead of you. Uh, you can just run late right. and then have devastating pace late on in the race. Safety car prediction. I'm going to say no safety car. Bold. Uh, uh, we got a lot of people. We've got 17 and... Once again, I'm so pleased by the attendance right now. We're sitting here yeah. very close to a full grid at the very finale of a season. And what does that say at the, about the health at the of the shelf league? life at the end of a game? Absolutely. Yeah, I'm very impressed. Would you rather uh, shots fired at Sakuri's internet service provider? Shots fired at <laughs> internet service provider, yes. Absolutely, they need to step up their game. I have uh, 300 megs, so it shouldn't be a problem. I don't understand what is happening. Well, hey, maybe uh, maybe we can have a look at the at the settings. Sometimes it's the bit rate on the stream or audio encoding yeah. or something like that. Yeah, uh, I have the uh, I have the settings the way the generation the the FRL generational talent has handed down to me, and that by mean that I mean Cub. <laughs> so, uh, which is very similar to the settings you actually have. Um, so I don't know what's what's going on. Well, hey, you know, uh, before we get started on the race, while everyone's setting up their uh, their uh, their cars and uh, picking up their strategies, I just like to take a moment since we're at the end of the season. Uh, I've written up a little thing for everyone who is in this race, so I just like nice. to go through that right now. El Susio Dan, hey man, you have been the standout driver of the season. Your development has been really, really spectacular. Uh, this is a well-earned, well-deserved championship. Congratulations. I agree. It's been, it's been an honor to see how you've been uh, progressing. Uh, JDR, you had such an exciting fight with Dan throughout the season. It's really unfortunate that you weren't able to make a couple of those final races because imagine if this was a championship decider coming in here. It's going to be a great race regardless. But you know what? It's been really great having you, and I'm so glad that you're here for the last race of the season. Braro, you've been doing fantastic throughout the year. You have been the avatar of consistency and reliability. It's paid off really well for you. Look at that third in the championship. Well done. Uh, Rogaine, you've always been in the mix for the podium. Any race where you are around, it has been, you know, you have been a valid pick there. Um, you are always a regular in my predictions. Nice stuff. Uh, Kenny LaFleur, who incidentally is not here at this He's race. He's not here. He's not here. Oh, His arrival into the league has been just <laughs> completely explosive. Uh, it's been fantastic to have him with us. I cannot wait to see what he can do in a full season because in the last five races, he has been the guy who's been bringing the fight to El Susio Dan. Uh, so just as JD was absent for part of that season, Kenny really stepped up and took that place. Balzac, you have been so close to the podium so many times, you've been Hulkenberging it like wild. And Hulkenberg is a really, really good driver, so I say that as a compliment. There's and one I miss, thing I'd like I miss to yelling see. at his strategy choices. Let me say <laughs> that. <Anyway. laughs> uh, and it, wouldn't it be awesome to see him get that podium in this final race for the season? Uh, let's see. We got Krith, who is back after several races. He is the man with the most podiums outside of the top championship contenders, and he did that in only half a season of attendance. That's funny. So that's seriously impressive. And Red Baron, Mr. Dependable, uh, he has been huge for the fact that Williams has been able to charge in towards second of the Constructors' Championship. His race in Belgium this year, for me, was his standout. It was really impressive him leading for so much of that really, really tortuous, changing race. Uh, so, hey, well done. And thank you also for all the work you've thank done. Thank you this for race doing that. Our race is about to start, by the way, so I'm going to yeah, continue absolutely. on that later. 
Ah, awesome. Thank you for doing that. That's awesome. All right. Clouds over Interlacos. Five red lights. JD on pole. Can El Sucio Dan overtake into turn one? Let's see how these guys do. Everything is all PLL. Thinking about it. Ghosting into it. They're side by side. El Sucio Dan goes into the green stuff. They are absolutely side by side. And El Sucio Dan might PLL have up the inside. PLL up the inside. Oh! Oh goodness! Oh, this, is going to be tears. this is going to be tears. They're going to be. Oh side goodness! Side. PLL off the track. Wheel contact, and that lets Balzac into P3. PLL okay, losing the cup again. Oh goodness! Nameless Nate into the back of Chris. What is going on with this camera right now? There we go. So it's JD, El Sucio Dan, Balzac, Luke. J Patel, Chris, nameless name, PLL, all the way back to P8. Some very uh, brave start for PLL. Did not pay off. Um, that was a wheel bang, right? That was just it like was. a side by side. And we're going to have some first lap pit stops coming in here because I saw a Ferrari wing go flying, and there are a couple of other components that disappeared early on. Oh, oh no! Prestige! He's all the way back down to 13. I think he's going to go a couple of laps and then go on to the hards. Okay, that that's a fair. That's like a fair. If he can only lose a couple of seconds point. lap here, he can potentially make that work. Oh, Luke might putting might be putting a old oh, Luke on the outside. On Jay Patel gets a job done. Wow, that was high and overtake. Chris he's charging right behind him. So, uh, all right, all right, let's settle here. Let's and settle into this race. I, 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 at the risk, so I, I had written it down. Uh, my podium prediction for this one was JDR Dan Balzek. And I feel very, very cheeky saying that now that we have gotten past the first lap. But I promise I, I also, do have that written actually, down. the only spot I have written down on, on my table here is P3's Balzek. I, I, I want to see it. I believe. All right, and now that I've back. cursed him, let's get our eyes on PLL, who has got a bit of a run on Krith here. But I don't think it's quite going to be enough, but he is following nice, he's got the draft. Oh, that is a P4 train right here, in between Luke, J, Krith, and PLL. Yeah, strong pace for J early on in this race. Uh, he's had a very, very nice start. Oh, J on the inside of Luke! Takes a look, decides to go, decides against it, which is a prudent thing to do. So JD up front, 1.7 seconds uh, gap to El Susodan. Oh, Nate, oh, the Ferrari Nate and, and Nate and Brit on the on the fight here. Keep in mind, Nameless Nate is working with one missing uh, end plate. So he's going to just be really, really hemorrhaging pace for the moment. But if he can just get enough laps so that he can run the hard. You know, Aero is for, for people who can't build engines. So, oh, is, something happened. That is powerful Ferrari roleplay right there. That's Luke Brax losing some positions. <laughs> Red Baron, by the way, up four places. Only Jay Patel has had a stronger start to the race. So did something happen to Luke? Because he was up there, wasn't he? He was. My eyes were off of him for a moment. And then he's go he was gone. Oh, he... Oh, Luke we has got, got the on, on... Oh, there's a lot happening. Up the oh, inside. PLL. And I think Luke has got Red Baron right behind him as well. Wow, that was uh, a lot of things happening in the span of three quarters. Certainly is. It's we're getting a, a packed race here. And let's point out, JDR building a nice interval. The first three are 2.2 2 seconds, out. yeah. But yeah, right domination. now, the cork in the bottle is J.O. Patel, who has had a fantastic start and now has PLL breathing down his neck. Yeah, he does. And honestly, it's so, a pretty tight pack. All, all this the fighting down. is allowing Balzac to clear three seconds to J. This might work. This might happen, dude. 
I'm, I'm not podium. gonna say anything. I'm not going to say a thing on that. Merely, I'd like to Balzac say. Balzac podium is absolutely happening. Why do you do this to us, Sukuri? <laughs> Why do you do this? Parallel <laughs> in the inside of Jay. There we go. Oh, there we go. And oh. Jay holds the outside. And now he's gonna have to inside through the next bit of the Santa S's, and PLL has oh, to slip in God, behind. These guys make me so nervous sometimes. Uh, yeah, PLL. Here we go. DRS really open. Close. On board. Up the inside. Here we go. And he's through. And he's gone. He's now gone. Now let's see what he can do to Balzac here. Is he going to be able to pull in? Also, we've got first piss off of the race. Pat Lissard hit it in. On the hards, right? Yeah, on the hards. Oh! Jay almost smashing the uh, BLL's gearbox. Oh, that was a moment for Chris. And also Sector a moment for Luke Praxis who spun out. Oh, disaster. Luke Praxis is stuck on the inside here. He has to wait for everyone to get through. Oh, and oh, that's an awkward situation. Dubman goes oh. through the ghosted Red Bull. I'm very happy that that did not slip. And Luke Brax down to 16th. That's a frustrating situation for him to be in. But now what can he do? Oh, his tires are so cooked. He's so cooked. He's like tire barbecue. Uh, a la Red Bull, I mean. Chris, you know who is looking real pretty right now? It's Red Baron. He's Absolutely. just overtaking Brick. He has had such a oh, strong start. Brick is coming back at him! Oh, he's coming back! Oh, he's coming back! Oh, no! Oh, no! What have we done? Oh, oh, and, and Red Baron is angry. He's just oh, fried his tires for spinning yes. the car around. And and I was just going to point out that it's over. That is Red Baron on mediums. They did the. He's doing the reverse strategy. Two more pit stops, by the way, as we see Prestige and Luke Brax in the pits. Okay, so... How come I don't get... Yeah, so, so Luke Brax in the pits, that does make sense. I'm having the... the I'm having the bug where everyone's at max revs all the time, and this is not oh, pleasant. Dear. Oh, that's that's frustrating for the audio, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, go to Brick's car. Oh, he he left. So Brick was holding one bar of brake throughout all of the uphill on the back straight, on the front straight. Huh. And I think he's on the pad, so it's easy to do that. Doesn't matter. He's half seconds behind Jay. Yeah, I had my telemetry off at the time. Also, Krith, still um, still unable to get past J.O. Patel, who has been defending yeah. this nicely. And also, uh, credit to him, he's not falling behind PLL by a massive amount. Um, so PLL was caught behind, but he wasn't being held up that much. So Jay showing a really, really strong turn of pace right now. Also, we've got a bit of a fight with Gapleg and Brother John. Yeah, I, I, I was kind of following that in the Deltas. Yeah, but it looks like Gab, uh, Gab overtook Brother John. It doesn't seem like he can keep the power down on his McLaren. I mean, that uh, yellow flag I had. It that's a, that's looks Chris. That's like Chris. It's Chris. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, Chris must out. have had a moment there. Red Baron, meanwhile, uh, currently caught behind Dubman himself. He's been right behind him through Sector 2. He he had, he'd lost, he actually lost his position to Dubman uh, a little bit ago. Um, if I if I caught that right, in the, in the, 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 the that green and the red arrows that pop up, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, Red Baron needs to, needs to calm, needs to think about this. Uh, he knows he has pace. He's had some misfortune. He's had some incidents, but he knows he has brother, pace. Brother, don't get flag. Oh, there's contact. So, brother John taps Gab flag on the gearbox. Gab flag, back, his brother corner, John. And there's another oh, disaster. contact. Oh, dumb man is out. That's yellows. Is that safety car? Be a safety car. A safety it car. Is, well, safety there goes my bet. First safety car of the race. I knew it. I knew and it. There is, gonna have there, is, oh, there is the Alfa Romeo have, with Here we go. Pit stops. Everyone's going to come in. This is the strategy. Stops, Hard. JD in. El, El Susio, Susio in. in. What's Balzac going Balzac, to do? Balzac, I swear to God, to go in those pit. Thank you. PLL. PLL. 
Is anyone not going to do that? Is anyone going to go for track position and then gamble on another safety car? Yeah. Yes! It is Bricklot! Brick continues! Raro continues because he's that, the softs. That is going to put Bricklot into the lead of this race. Wow. That is... Uh, That's significant. That is Nameless Nate in, Gab Flag in, Brother John Ian in, Brax, not Red in. Baron in, Prestige. He's a one lap... Oh, he's already pitted under the safety Critically, car, I think. Critically, uh, Raro and, uh, and Ian Brax, both on mediums, both reasonably staying out. So the mediums last 20 laps here. That they do. So he's got another 12 to do. Well, heck, you can you can get comfortably into the teens on the softs. Although, as you said, yeah, especially it's a with hairy. low fuel. Well, especially honestly, with low fuel. This is um, this is very good news for everyone who was uh, who had those early setbacks. Yes. Nameless Nate Race is now is out on cards. And critically, let's point out JDR, LCC Dan, they went for softs again. Oh. So they are not one stopping. They're they looked not at this going. And said, yeah. Hey, you know, what? we're just going to burn. This is going to be a two stop race. So we've got some shakeups in the strategy. And right now, let's look at the people who are in really nice positions. Balzac is the highest person in this race who could potentially run his tires to the end. So right now, he's oh, on he's hards. on hards. <gasps> yes, Balzac is making yes, a full Balzac. move here. Hell yes, those hards will go for 25 laps. That will call not comfortably, uh, it's, actually. It's, Hold on. it's just at the edge of what he can potentially do here. Oh, also, dude, those those hards are going to be just melted. 25. Also, Bricklot actually is pitting now. Unfortunate that he had to, had to pit this time. That's going to knock him down from a nice position since he's going, and he's taking a pit stop yeah. after being out the lead. So he pitted from the lead. He comes out in 11th place. Of course, he will have gotten into the lead from that pit stop uh, from everyone else ahead of him. Let me tell you, we sh we, it, 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 even if Balzac does not get the podium, if he takes these hards on this track to the end of this race, he deserves a trophy. Oh, goodness. Like a, Red Baron and Bricklot. Sergio, Sergio Perez tr uh, trophy. What's that? Red Baron and Bricklot came up right next to each other. Bricklot just came up and Red Baron barely snuck through him before the, uh, the end of the pit exit. Alright, time to look at um, interval. Well, hey, actually, all our eyes are on Bricklot. I've got a shout out written for Bricklot here. Uh, so, hey, Brick, your second place in Mexico, that is a feather in your cap after a really, really strong campaign. Well done, dude. Uh, it's been, it's been really impressive to watch. And, uh, PLL, uh, you've shown so much pace. You've brought so much excitement after showing up for the second half of this season. Uh, I'm glad that after the early pace you showed, you've been oh, able to get those moves. Oh, Bill, Bill, spun under safety car. Oh my goodness! He pulled a Botas. I pulled a Sakuri. <laughs> what is that? A Sakuri is cursing someone by speaking their name. Oh, <laughs> oh man, that sucks. And there you are, at the back of the queue. Well, nonetheless, and the he's on fresh socks. In. The seven and cars JD in front of him holding... are on harder tires. Okay, JD sets the the grid. Followed by El Sergio Dan, followed by Aurora on the mediums. Ian Brax, Balzac going into turn one. Oh, very wide for uh, Aurora. Is going to get Ian a, a, oh, goodness. a run there. Uh, and that's, I believe that's Pat Lassard who's just been spun into the wall there. Is his tire, is his front wing intact? Oh, Pat! Oh, Pat. Pat Lassard. That and, oh, no, he's got front wing damage. Okay, so these guys are going side by side. Robert Ian's got, Ian's got, yeah. Oh, oh Robert Ian's goes wide. And wide. he's going to lose several oh, positions Oh, he's on here. all the wrong bits of the track and losing positions left and right. And that's down from third yeah, to so seven. Yeah, so these guys but, went side by side into Ferradura. Chris hugging. Every, Chris is not leaving him any space. Tough but fair. Very good driving. Okay, Jay Patel in the inside of Balzac. So, 
the softs against the hards, it's hard to compete. No pun intended. But if someone can defend in this situation, I do have faith in Balzac. Oh, he's gonna go oh. for a bit of a lunge. There's a oh, tap. Balzac has a wiggle, and that lets Chris through. Oh, and that lets Raw through. And that lets Prestige wow. through. Jay just got mugged, man. It was, <laughs> he got mugged he, for everything. He barely he, avoided he, contact. He's he gonna go and for. have a move up inside of Prestige here. Oh, oh goodness. Everyone side by side here. Prestige. Yes, man. He's coming back through the field after that uh, incident in the first lap. Also, so Roro just going wide everywhere. Oh, those mediums are 11 laps. 11 lap old, dude. <laughs> it's going to be a tough situation, guess, but... Yeah, it's going to be fast tough, tires absolutely. Late. Fast tires late. Three words. I have to point out that, uh, that yeah, Roro is looking like Kim and Ian are the two guys who might still be able to pull off the reverse medium soft strategy. So keep an medium eye on soft. that. Medium soft. Medium soft one stop. He's gonna have. They're gonna have to go to twenty laps on those mediums, guy. And Roro's already going all over the place. So Balzac, Chris on the outside of Balzac. Balzac hugs the inside for a better exit, but he goes wide. It is not. He still keeps. Chris is still behind off. him, so that was very good. So, Ballstack hugging the inside does not want to give him, squeezes him to the outside. Well, that is how I like to defend. Nice! It does not work, but that is exactly how you defend. You hug the inside, you give the guy the outside, he hugs the outside, you hug his car, and you take the corner. Very textbook defending right there by Also, Jay Patel making his way back up on Prestige with slightly fresher tires. Oh man, these guys are all on top of each other. I mean, this has been uh, this has been a, a race reset for these guys. Certainly has. Okay, so Prestige has been able to go in the power pretty early. I think Jay's got to run. Everyone's got. Uh, Who doesn't? Nate okay, with Snake. With outside of Balzac. And Luke Brax He's around gone. the He's outside gone. of Nate. Here we go. Red Bull Ferrari. Ferrari Red Bull. Right. Side by side. And Luke Brax is still not through. Nameless Nate holding ninth. Oh yeah, there is a juicy fight for P10, isn't there? And Fred Luke has got no patience. He just wants to go well, up inside. Uh, PLL, to... two guys who are out of position. Both of them going to be fighting their way up. Red Baron dives up the inside, and PLL oh, holding PLL takes the inside line. Wow, that is a good move. It's an aggressive, clean, and fair duel between these two, and both of them are going to want to not fight with each other. They're both out of position. Oh, Brother John going wide. Gap flag is behind him some ways, but that's Brother John. All right, Chris has got to run on Ian here. I don't think there's anything Ian can do. Yeah, he's already deploying. I mean, I think Ian just sort of is going to let this happen to him. Oh, didn't quite make it. So Chris on the inside. Okay, oh, so goodness. Ian leaves plenty of space, it slows him down. So Chris is oh, quite Jay ahead Patel. now. A moment through the S's and Jay drops down to 12. Okay, can Ian come back at Chris here? PLL on Luke Brax. Up the inside. And he's made it stick. Now can Red Baron do so, the same to Luke? Balzac is losing a lot of positions, but he's keeping pace with these guys on the hard tires. And that's what's absolutely critical to this. He just needs to not let the guys up front get too much ahead. But look, there's a 10 that's and it. a half second gap that has formed. Oh my god. Of JDR and El Susio Dan are snatching this race back with this high speed strategy. Look at them just stretching out ahead. JDR. Stamping authority, but El Susio Dan keeping him honest. Three and a half seconds off of the leader. And then it's ten and a half back to Chris Raro up the inside of Ian Brass. Does the have a run here? Yeah, on the inside maybe? 
It's the Rorocopter. What can he do? Okay, he went Optimus really late in the brakes. He's got it. And it looks like uh, that Williams looks a little bit more planted on used tires than this Red Bull got on the day. I don't think he's going to do it. He just takes a peek, but he recognizes, no, you know, this isn't this Probably isn't Probably not a good idea. Oh, he and Brax, though, a little kick. And a little now bit, Prestige little bit of a is going problem. to have Prestige a bit of a problem. Prestige is missing some blood here. Oh, guy. He has to lift off. Yeah, he does. PLL, really close to this guys. Wow, this is an enormous train. Look at this. Indeed, yeah. Everyone, not everyone here? behind Raro is here. This is, this is the party <laughs> wagon, everyone. Welcome to the Who party bus. Up now? the inside, Red Baron. I've never no. seen anything like this in my life. It's fantastic. You just love to see it. This is Brazil racing right here. Up the inside, we've got a Force India uh, racing point, I should say. <laughs> Force India. We've the got they a, went bankrupt. bankrupt. Sorry, we've got a, long a we, we, we've got a Midland here. Uh, Jordan, Jordan F1. PLL. Pride oh. of Ireland. Balzac. On the, he takes the William. He takes Ian! Yes! Balzac! He's not going backwards on his hard tires, he's going forward. And Red Man, Baron that is has exciting. just made his way through on J.O. Patel. Oh, Ian, Ian, Ian coming back at him! Oh, and he's, they're letting Roro get away with all this fighting. Look at that, they're gonna go side by side, F. Arradura. Prestige, licking oh, his lips. All right, Balzac cleans the inside of- Oh no, Nameless Nate flies with his own teammate! Oh, and that's the front wing gone from Nameless Nate. Nameless Nate. Nameless oh Nate. no, is this been Ferrari on Ferrari action? It was, it was Ferrari on Ferrari action, Nameless Nate ran into the who, back of Prestige. Who was the pedal and who was the Leclerc? Uh, I would say Nameless Nate was the Leclerc in that situation. <laughs> Fair. All right, PLL. Oh, PLL right. almost They're still smashing the rear people. of- Nate's prestige is perfectly, going super wide. Nate oh, is PLL is a whole ton of trouble. Nate is perfectly positioned to go on to mediums now, and that's what he absolutely must do to salvage this race. Here we go. Into he's the going, he's, he has late. to go on the mediums. Let's see what's happening. Balzac. Balzac is staying ahead. Oh, prestige going in, attacking Ian. Ian Brax. DRS he's got to run. Side by side. Side by side. In the inside, Prestige has got it. He's going to try to do the cutback. He's, He's got and it. And Ian Brax coming back in. Side. And Prestige has the inside line. Does the gentleman thing and does not shove up to Brax, the outside. Look, inside of his own brother. Brother and brother action right here. That's a Get fraternal to... war. Right wow. So that went all wrong for Ian. From, uh... From the from the asses. Well, Ian Brax, keep in mind, 17 lap old mediums. Oh, Balzac has got Roro here. There is no way. So also, he, he doesn't even have a DRS. He's already closing just on traction. And should I point out, um, and let's look at Roro and Balzac, because Balzac has just made his way through very comfortably. But Roro and Ian Brax are absolutely not out of this race. They are both on mediums that have been going since the very start of the race. The all on they have to do is two back. more laps on mediums to go on the softs. The problem is, man, look at Roro. If he pits, he's going to have to overtake all those people, and that's the problem with doing a two stops in a 50% race. You have to do the overtaking. It is uh, in a track like this. Although these guys are showing us that it is not difficult to overtake in this track. And if I could point out, Red Baron has had to make a pit stop, but he's actually not very far behind his teammate. Ooh, so Red Baron not. also in a nice position here because both of them will need to make one more pit stop here. And Jail Patel, uh, he is getting towards the end of the life for his softs, and he's going to want to pit soon because he's going to need to do a run on the mediums. Okay, Prestige taking a look now. He's getting interested. It looks like those mediums are done, don't they? I mean, they're going to be in rough shape. PLL uh, loses a position to Bricklot there. Uh, I wonder if he had, a, had some power issues going up the hill. Trouble getting Prestige, the traction down. Prestige takes a look. He decides against it. Oh, Ian Brax and Red Baron. That's contact. Is Red Baron's car intact? 
Oh goodness, this is a tight fight. Two oh, racing my points. Gosh, everybody's in here. Oh, that's Brick and Ian up ahead. But it everyone is, oh, in the Red oh, Baron oh, taking Baron. a very wide line, and it costs him. His yes. PLL snatches the there goes place. one position. PLL also going to have to make one more pit stop. Once again, there is only one man left on the track who does not have to pit. Well, sorry, only one who's right, in front. So name was Nate is there too. Prestige, Prestige took P6 from Roro here. They both have to pit. So that here is what I would do. 13 laps, right? The soft goes to 15. If Prestige pits for 14, mediums right probably, now, yeah. he can retain... But if Roro pits now, he will undercut Prestige. So Prestige has to go in the pits now. I'll put the medium tires on and go to the end. And, and Roro is not That's even hitting pit his lap 21. Chris going for his pit stop. He's going to put on the mediums here run them to the end. Yeah. So now Chris is coming out, and everything now is going to be a race for position for him. Also, we've got one more. That is Ian Brax coming in for his pit stop. He has done 20 laps on the mediums. He is now going to take softs to the end. Here it is, the counter strategy. Ian Brax in 14th position. What can he do from here? He is still That's conceivably the, within shooting uh, range of Balzac. That's true. He's going to have so much pace, but those tires are going to be squealing at the end. Oh, that's the oh, yellow flag in Sector 1. El Susio Dan has spun out. Uh, he's going to lose he's some lost, time here. He's lost the rear end. Critically, though, he hasn't lost anything else beyond time, and perhaps a bit of tire wear, but those are 11 lap old softs. Uh, he's going to want Just to put on mediums. I'm surprised he's not putting on mediums right now. Uh, because right now. He's yeah. done soft soft. Why is he 15 laps on mediums is going to be a very short stint on them. Wow. So he's had so for much of a lead. This is good for Balzac. Luke Brax threw on Raro. Raro, looking right, to let's see look at, maybe... Look, let's look at JD for a little bit, because he had no camera time thus far, this guy. Because yeah, he's just, he like, stop. a mile ahead. And so is PLL. But yes, oh, you're right. Oh, on Luke! Luke, hanging out the outside beautifully, keeps the place. And these guys are racing really well tonight. I mean, this is this is not an easy track to go side by side in. It really is not. Certainly not. And I have to point out, every single driver who is on hards is on here to the end. So there's only a few drivers now who still have a pit, stat, pit stop needed. So that is the top four, top five, top six? Well, Balzac no, 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 is the no, only no. person. Balzac. Luke Brax can conceivably take those hards to the end. It'll be... Ooh, that would be Actually, tough, no, dude. He, yeah, I don't, I don't think he can. Oh, oh, that's a bit of a moment for Brother John, but he holds it. JD coming out of the pits, on the mediums to the end. Well, JD can sort of check out now and just do time trial laps. Well, that is the move. And PLL behind J.O. Patel, uh, seeing what he can do. This is the salvage job right now. Um, he had that unfortunate moment earlier on in the race. He's got a big run on J.O. Patel. Yes, he does. He goes in the, inside. the inside. Into the Senna S's. And J oh, goes Jay wide and PLL so takes wide. it comfortably. Yeah, he, J went really wide trying to defend that one. And now Ian on spanking brand new soft tires and low fuel. There's no holding him back, really. I mean, just on traction. You don't even need DRS at this point. JDR is about to catch El Susio Dan. Um, is Dan going to pit now? He really should. And here he is. El Susio Dan avoids the track on track. In the fight. pit? He's going to come back behind Balzac. Well, that's that was, that was all but guaranteed with Balzac's strategy. The key is, will he be able to catch up with Balzac? He's got to have the medium, so his pace advantage isn't going to be as large as it could have conceivably been. El Susio Dan, now down into fourth, is Luke Brax on his 17 lap old hearts. And if I picked up anything from Luke Brax's strategies, he likes running tires obscenely long. Uh, remember, we've seen his tires outright fail from wear before. So yeah. I, I wouldn't put it beyond Luke Brax. 
to try and run these for another 12 laps and have 29 lap old cards at well, the end. Well, El Sucio Dan is about to give us a, a show here. Oh no! The inside of Ferradura! No! Oh, I knew the moment I saw that I was going to end in tears. Like, the second he decided to put his nose in there. Oh. Uh, pull time this lap, what was it? Uh, it was a 106.8, wasn't it? Or was it the 107s? Oh. I'm trying to remember if it was a 106.8 or a 107.8. You know what? I, I won't worry about, uh, about brainstorming what that one is just now, since we've still got activity. We've got Ian Brax on two lap old softs, just ahead of Jail Patel on fresh mediums. Jay, ooh, a bit of a moment there. He has to back off as he nearly runs into the back. And now he's going to want to make something of this race. Crit through on El Susio Chris. Dan. Crit's coming side by side with Gap for P7. And Red Baron going very slowly in front of him. So Crit makes the overtake stick on the outside. Red Baron and now El Susio Dan here. looks very interested into this oh, well, you know, going, oh red baron is going to lose three positions in one straight wow i think, I think the move got completely now sucio n overtakes gab it's just yeah. like it's just like he he put grim pre mode and put the ai on easy like this has just been slicing and dicing well we've seen how much of a pace advantage jdr and el susio then have and really that's a callback to earlier on in the season and this is a lot of what we would see happen is they have so much pace they're just going to keep on hauling themselves out of the pack even if they fall back into it the question is will he be able to do that in a really really packed really hairy interlagos circuit Oh, if you look at the strategy call, I was calling between Prestige and Roro. So Prestige did went into the medium. Here we go, on Chris. Oh, Susio then in, on to Chris. Yeah, and he's comfortably ahead already into the entry into the S's. So Prestige went into the mediums and came out way ahead of Roro. But again, Roro on those soft tires now. And Red Baron is still have running. A, a tired advantage. I think Red Baron is going to try and take a 26 lap medium stint. That's the only explanation for why he hasn't pitted, because 10 laps on the softs Good. now. Brother John wanted to be top 5 today, and he's running P5. Well, not if El Susio Dan has anything oh, to say about it. God, he's going so close. That's like. So close, so close. Oh, Gaflag, Gaflag is out. Gaflag has fired off. He's Just gone, so we'll see if Gaflag is out. Is there going to be another safety car here? Because if there's a safety car, virtual Two safety, safety car. car, Red Baron should pit right now. If Red Baron does not pit, I it's yes, going, here we he's go. He's going in. It's going to save him a ton of time. This is huge for Red Baron's race. Who else is potentially going to be? There's no one else who is There's really no in a good else. position to He's take the, advantage of it. He was the Lewis Hamilton of today. He needed to pit, so they called a, a virtual safety car. And then as soon as he comes out, the virtual safety car will be over. So oh, why we'll are they holding? How long that's going to last? Have a spot? Did he, he had a stop-go penalty. He had to serve. And also a new front wing on Red Baron. Nonetheless, okay, so oh, Nameless Nate be... also pitting in. Nate's going to put on uh, some fresh softs, see if he can push his way up. But because this is... Oh, and the track goes well, green. What just say? The, the second he comes out of the pits, track's green. However, he's in P13, and there's a very long... Uh, ve uh, brick. So, Balzac, P2. Or that brick... Uh, um, Luca... Um, P3, four seconds behind him. A look behind him and then break right behind. And El Susio Dan has clear brother, John. Red Baron, three second time penalty for multiple warnings. So there's a couple of there's a couple of races that are going on right now. Uh, championship races beyond just what we're seeing here. Oh and my I'd like God. to draw some attention towards that. <laughs> right now. Rumble look. is a rocket ship. Passing PLL is really funny. I didn't even have to. I thought it was going to be a side by side into the breaking zone. He didn't even need to get there, not even close. Now we see. And that's the difference. 
does PLL potentially have a run back on him? Yeah, on he does. Pole? He does a run. So Roro trying to hug, hug on the outside. PLL. PLL takes the position back. Off by fair. Uh, but right now, I'd like to draw attention for the fight for 11th place in the championship. JL Patel, 39 points. Luke Brax, 33 points. Prestige, 33 points. All within the points or within mere striking distance of the points. So right now, yeah. JL Patel just needs to lot lose six points to Luke Brax. But Luke Brax right now is in third place, but he's on monumentally old hard tires. So we're going to see some big changes happening there. Dude, what's Ball's X? Um, what's Ball's X? Penalties. Uh, let's have a look. Three sec. Three seconds. So nothing. Yeah. This and is. And break like, is a. Break is eight seconds. Things are going to be on three. He might lose. If he loses podium today, it's going to be on the. the uh, on the. Um, the, the only way I see it happening is a safety car. A full safety car to take away that time advantage and to put some of these guys on the, the fresher mediums and softs right behind them. Right now, no one inside the top nine is on softs. So who do we look at as the attackers? We're looking at Raro. We're looking at Ian Brax. We're looking at Red Baron, Nameless Nate, Pat Lassard. These are the guys who are going to be setting the fastest pace, and they're the ones who are at the back. So, Sakuri, we're going to see a convergence. Can you imagine right the Red Baron, Nate, and Pat? If there's a full safety car, these guys are in spin breaking new soft tires. It would be a massacre. <laughs> yes, and the key thing, the thing that is protecting everyone ahead of him, is the fact that there's a 10 second gap that is holding Red Baron away from where he can really start to make up the points. Meanwhile, it's Robert, going down fast though. That delta is melting. It certainly is. Also, we've got, as, uh, I think that's a, that's a lapping success actually. I saw two cars close on the track. But what we are seeing as a near fight here is Brick Lot on the back of Luke Brax. Brick, by the way, also on very old hard tires. Balzac, Luke Brax, and Brick Lot all running very similar strategies within four laps of each other. And they're all spread out over a little oh, gap. Oh, Brick here. going pretty wide. Um, but El Susio Dan is the one who's coming up behind. And now El Susio Dan, the prince, is coming to retake his crown. Get out of here. This is my <laughs> podium. <laughs> <laughs> he is coming down with a vengeance here. And his his laps, not only are his tires 15 laps younger than even the freshest of the drivers ahead, they are also mediums. And this is also El Susio Dan, let's not question that. He has some serious pace uh, that's only yes, going to be does. boosted by those other features that we just mentioned. Absolutely. And in the DRS here is so powerful, my friend. Oh, certainly, yes. I don't remember it being this overpowered, but the DRS here is absolutely ridiculous. And you can sometimes get such a such a delta forming just from a little bit of good or bad traction coming out of the Jensao. Oh, El Sucio Dan! Man, he's going on the outside of Brick! Oh yeah, okay, so oh. Brick... Is brick is oh, like... Oh, oh no, Brick Lot! Big spin! But, oh my goodness! <laughs> I don't believe it. Oh my goodness. Did you see uh, how close they he came to collecting El that Susio was Dan. Absolutely just in the hands of God right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not one to blaspheme, but <laughs> that was centimeters. That was, that was nothing. That was he Jesus could taking the wheel. He shoved his gearbox off. Hey, does anything look wrong on my car? No? Yeah, okay, I'll carry on. Susio Dan's gearbox got a fresh shave. Spanking brand new baby's ass. Like, <laughs> that. And with that, that El Susio Dan is back into wow. the top three. Four laps to go. Where's time gone? There are four laps to go. There are four laps to go, man. <laughs> this has been amazing. We're running out right, of time so here. And right now... Mm -hmm. Balzac is looking in very nice position here. Luke Brax, Bricklot, they have both fallen off the pace here. Now we're going to look at can Brick potentially hold off Krith, who is coming in. A triumphant return for Krith after several there races. Is no way. Can I tell you something? I'll yeah. take bets now. There's no way that if Luke does not hit, that those tires don't explode. 
You know what? I think those tires are gonna live, Sakuri. I think they're, they're gonna not live. gonna live. There's I think no he's way, gonna dude. lose you just two more places. The dude. Uh, well, There's I no mean, way. He has to pit. Know. Those tires are not gonna last. Eyes on Raro right now. He's on seven lap hold softs. PLL ahead of him by three seconds. Do you think Raro's gonna be able to make up some more positions here? Maybe. But we do have crit up ahead on DRS on brick. And he's got the tire advantage. He's, he's got done. It. Out over. the outside. Round the outside. Round the outside. And he is through comfortably. Up into fifth position. And we've got a moment here. Everyone is spread out for the moment. There's no one closer than PLL on Prestige, and they're both running very similar strategies. Prestige looking like he might be able to pick up four points for Ferrari if he can hold this position. Do you want to know, do you want to know something very interesting about Crit that I found out today? Tell me. He lives 20 minutes from where my entire family lives in Brazil. No. <laughs> Brazil is a 250 million people nation. Well, you see, it's a very tiny country. <laughs> it's been, yeah, uh, very tiny, uh, absolutely. I was floored to hear this. It's a 20 minute drive in the middle of nowhere in the very southern part of the country. And he lives okay. literally 20 minutes away. It's crazy. It's crazy. Like next time I fly to Brazil, I might as well just take a car and just go see him. <laughs> it's crazy how small the world is with the internet, you know? It's just a fun fact of the day. We're literally absolutely. neighbors. <laughs> so. So hey, uh, why don't we take a moment in these dying moments of the race here, unless someone starts getting real close to someone else, uh, in which case you should keep uh, keep an eye out because we've got a bit of a brick on grip action perhaps coming up. But hey, uh, going through my shoutouts to everyone who's been taking part of this season, JL Patel, you have never failed to bring the excitement to the races. You have just been a staple of these. Um, thank you also for the times that you've helped out with casting. Uh, it has been great to have you. Uh, Luke Brax, you, it has been great. Whenever we can get you, whenever the scheduling is working, whenever the connection is holding up, uh, you have been doing some really, really great work. And look at this, uh, Luke Brax right now, P4 on these tires. We're questioning, are they going to survive? Is he going to be able to hold off Krith? Who knows? But, uh, you know, he is, he is bringing it today. Uh, Prestige. You've only been here for half a season, and you're already a fixture on the grid. Uh, congratulations, by the way, for your maiden podium in Singapore, but your season's really been more than one standout result. You've been pulling in points nearly every single race. So, hey, uh, here's hoping to a nice finish to the season. You've got DRS on Brother John. Let's see what you can do with it. El Sudan, El Sudan, on Balzac. He... Oh, this guy, please take care. Yes, thank you. That makes me so nervous. There we go. That makes Balzac, me very nervous. Okay, so the Alps was going to regain P2. That's crazy. That is insane. He pit. He he lost the car. Okay. Yeah. So he lost like so much time. Yeah, and he lost pits seconds there. in the middle of traffic. He has contact with the driver, spins around again. Overtakes everybody to come back to P2. This is just ridiculous. I mean, I, the last time I've seen someone crush a grid like this was back in the day of Dark Law. Like, in those that's Dark been Law years. Days. These Jimmy are the Dark Law days, lap, absolutely. Way. And hey, you know, I, I'm almost through. I've got a little two for a shut up. Lacadien, Pat Lassard, addressing the Burke boys together. Uh, even though, sadly, Lacadien could not be here for this race. I want to shout out how much it's meant that you guys have been racing with us for so many years, so going long. all the way back through multiple leagues, and honestly, how much it means. Like, speaking very genuinely, very serious, how much it means that you guys are representing the culture of fair, clean racing in Division 2. Uh, Chris inside of the brick in the last lap of the race, Woo! so many position changes. Break a lot into P4, but he's got 11 seconds of penalty. Luke, this Brax, guy. Luke Brax is holding holding P6. Oh, Red Baron. Uh, let's see, what's this? Is this Ian Brax? Yeah, Luke Brax. Uh, Ian Brax, I should say, and Red Baron. Both Brax brothers having a last lap tussle. All right, JD to cross the line to finish the last. He's through. Race Brother John. of the oh, goodness. season. Brother John and what Chris happened? and... And Prestige, PLL, oh goodness, it's all coming together. 
Oh wow, PLL taking three positions. Okay, Balzac is going to cross cross the, the line for a podium, my man, in the <laughs> very <laughs> last race. P2, El Sociodan, P3, Balzac, he gets a podium. Get in Brilliant. there! Bricklot, with uh, with penalties demoted, and Luke Brax on 30 lap old tires, is fourth place! Oh no, Where's the those explosion? tires didn't explode! Where was the earth shattering kaboom? Happen? And J.O. Patel coming happen? through, is there going to be any change of positions on penalties? Yes, there is! J.O. Patel picks up a point, and oh my goodness, wow. that's very significant! Uh, J.O. Patel, uh, by securing that, he's gotten one point. Luke Brax was... I think Luke Brax, nice. Luke Brax has just jumped J.O. Patel with this result. This is 30 lap old hard tires for Luke. What a shout out to Luke Brax for keeping that alive. That's amazing. That's driver of the day for me, just for those 30 laps. Oh. <laughs> exactly, thank you. Thank there you, game. Go. At least some of the things. And uh, a tie for the driver of the day for me. They, these guys can share driver of the day. It's Balzac. Balzac. Balzac, dude. man. So happy. We that is well deserved. The... Hey, you know what? The podium drug is over. God, go in the pits. He went in the pits. <laughs> for once, I yell at him for his strategy and, and he follows through. There what we go. What a good race, man. This has been awesome. But yeah, if, uh, if I'll just I'll just Ooh. try to finish up. Make sure everyone gets their shout out on stream. So like I did yes, in Palace, right, just representing the the sort of the tradition, the culture that we built up, and it means a lot that you are here in Div Two, just sharing that because we've got so many new faces coming in, and you're presenting that continuity, presenting the standards of hey, what does it mean to be racing FRL? Uh, Gab Plague, your finish in Singapore came out of absolutely nowhere that second place remember that in singapore the ridiculous race the ghost sakuri everything and honestly that is the single most <laughs> impressive thing that i've seen this whole season bar none you overcame the hardest and most grueling conditions of any race either division faced, and came up with a massive result but you've been putting in the result you've been putting in the effort you've been pushing yourself in races and even though not all of them have that ridiculous result that amazing result uh you've still been pushing you've still been out there well, friggin' done, dude. And I look forward to seeing what you can pull off in future seasons. And moving on, Ian Brax, I, uh, like your brother, I only wish we could have had you for more of the championship. Yeah, uh, same. Going going to a couple, uh, hey, Takumi Fujiwara showed up for one Most of the Brax brothers are yeah, really fun to watch. They're, they're uh, really good. We're, we're going to want to get in touch with our one-hit wonder, Takumi Fujiwara. Came in for one race, massive result disappeared off the face of the map. But hey, uh, I would love it if you would join us for Season 3. Irma Gert, you have the unique stat of being the only driver who has been around for more than two races who scored on every single outing, so nicely done on that. Uh, when you are here, you're getting the consistency. Brother John, congratulations on a solid season. You've been clean, you've been consistent, uh, you've been in some very, very tight battles. Nameless Nate, you're always here. You've got perfect attendance. You're always racing your heart out, even at the fringes of the points. And, you know, on a personal level, I absolutely know that kind of feeling. You're just, you know, putting, you know, racing your heart out. And sometimes you're getting the points, sometimes you're not. It's exhausting, but you've never lifted off and you've kept at it. It's been awesome to talk the sport with you, both the league and actual Formula One. Forza Ferrari, man. And Dubman. Uh, I love how much you've become a fixture, both in the races and in the community. You're always there in the Twitch chat. Uh, and honestly, what guys like you are doing, that's the meat and bones of what makes a league like this work. Chapeau to all of you guys. Nice work, everyone. And Sakuri, that's the end of FRL Season 2, Division 2. It's done. It is Finito. done. Indeed, it is done. Well, my friend, thank you so much for stepping in and, and doing this with me it is very very awkward to do this by myself so I, i'd like to thank you to do it and you're actually very you know you're very good at it you're very you know very thorough take your notes uh it's been a pleasure and the same to you uh thank you so much sakuri for first of all uh you know you you were one of the veterans when i started racing way back several leagues ago 
and it's been great going through all this stuff with you and it's been really fun this is the first time that we've been doing commentary together this season yeah, absolutely yeah and, and it's, it's been, been really it's been an absolutely pleasure absolutely and but you know uh, enough about us we're just here to talk about what's happening <laughs> let's <laughs> yes, pass off everyone absolutely. to every single driver who has been here who's been racing who has been putting in the practice putting in the effort putting in the time and putting on the show yeah and again congratulations to el socio dan probably the best driver i i, I want to say uh evolution that i've seen in in any league in any year in any game he's coming to his and own. uh and I had the I had the, the chance to see from you know the season one to season two, and it's been a big change. And uh, but uh, yeah, so anyway. And a complimentary <laughs> shout out to JDR, who honestly we have not spoken up nearly enough. He was dominant this race. <laughs> Dude's he, a rock. He just, Hamil he just Hamilton <laughs> this race. He went off. He yeah, led. Yeah, he absolutely. never looked under threat for a split second. And we barely even mentioned them because of all the chaos happening elsewhere in the race. But JDR, well done. Uh, I hope we'll be able to see you again. And I hope we'll see you making many, many more championship runs in the future. Well, that has been it. Thank you for tuning in. And everyone have a very good night. Have a good Thanks night, guys. Chaos. On Wednesday for the season finale, same track, different drivers, no assists as we race Division 1 in Interlagos. And I promise to spin Nala and Scarlet at least once, so tune in. Mwah. <laughs>